Hi everybody, it's Get Real in the Kitchen with Dehana Olson, and I'm serving celebration biscuits because anytime you have homemade biscuits, it's a celebration, right? So what I'm trying to make a case for, and the recipe is right below in the description, is, uh, and there's so many different great biscuit recipes to try. Um, this is half of the flour and paste, uh, uh, whole wheat pastry flour and almond flour and uh, the baking powder, baking soda and some, some shredded cheese that's in here. And uh, that's, that's your normal, like if you were gonna make cookies. And then you're adding some buttermilk and there's a little bit of honey in the um, buttermilk. And you're just gonna mix that together and the trick to biscuits is a very light hand. So this, you're not gonna be using a uh, electric appliance and you're um, not, you're gonna be using a very light hand to get those mixed together. And there was some butter in there and I couldn't find my pastry cutter. So when you, to, to go ahead and incorporate the butter into the um, flour mixture, you can use just two knives they work that works perfectly well so um, you're just gonna do this and get your board ready kind of pull it together again quick light hand fast and um, they're not going to be sticky or wet but they aren't going to be dry either and you're just going to Put them out into your pastry board like that and you're just going to tamp it out with your hand so uh, that's all you have to do you're not going to even need a, uh, to find your rolling pin in case that's hidden somewhere now it really does help to have a biscuit cutter and and they're fun anyway so um, just cut them out and that's really all it takes and I thought this would save you give you some ideas and save you time for your celebration meals that I love dinner rolls don't get me wrong but they can take a bit more time because they have to rise and then if you want to mix it all together you can still cut out a few more of those those biscuits by just reusing the dough so uh, now these other biscuits are ready to come out of the oven because they're only going to take about, and keep an eye on them till they're lightly browned on the bottom, they're only going to take about 12-14 uh, minutes in the oven, depending on the size, how, how you roll them, and, and all that. So let me just kind of dry off my hands, excuse me for that. And uh, then I'm going to pull these other uh, biscuits out of the oven. And they should be ready, actually, because the timer was about to go off. How do they look? And if you, you, there's no way to get biscuits like this unless they're made at home. Oh, somebody's already going for a biscuit. And so I'm going to try this out. Oh, it's too hot, of course. Yes, and like I said, there are so many biscuit recipes to try. So if you subscribe and push the subscribe button, it's free to subscribe. You won't miss a future video. And um, come back for the next video where I have a surprise to go on the biscuits. So it's live from Denver, one take. See you next time.